For this example, we'll be using the VOR18 procedure turn at Corpus Christi International. Our initial conditions are 3,000 feet, 200 knots, and we have been cleared for the approach, maintaining 3,000 feet until the Corpus Christi vortex. If you haven't already done so, 15 to 20 miles out is a good time to brief and set up for the approach. The technique that I recommend is to set up for the approach while you're briefing it. This allows you to complete two tasks at once, saving you time and brain power. We will not be covering approach briefs in this lesson. However, as for the setup, we will verify the appropriate VOR frequency of 115.5 is set. We will set our heading bug to 012 in preparation for the outbound turn. and Verify that our rad out is set to 500 feet, which is approximately 10% below the height above touchdown. Once we reach 5 miles from the initial approach fix, we'll slow to 150 knots indicated in preparation for the approach. This is also a good time to prepare your clock by changing it to the timer mode and clearing any previous countdowns that may be running. At the initial approach fix, as indicated by the swapping of the to from flag, we will perform the six T's. Time, it's not required. Turn, for this example, we'll be turning to parallel the outbound of the 012. However, if we were to be turning from more than 90 degrees of turn, then we would turn straight to an intercept of no more than 45 degrees. Time, once we are wings level on our outbound course and abeam the station, we will begin timing for the first minute of the outbound leg. Transition. At this point, we can initiate our descent down to 2100 feet. However, I recommend waiting until you're established on the outbound to prevent air work errors such as over descending or missing your intercept. Twist and intercept. Now we'll twist in our 012 course into the CDI and turn to intercept it using a double the angle intercept up to but not beyond 45 degrees. It is important to expedite this step to get yourself established on the outbound prior to the end of the first minute. And finally, talk. If told to do so, you would now report to ATC that you have begun the approach. Otherwise, this step is not required. Once established on the outbound, we will set our heading bug to 327 in preparation for the procedure turn. And if you have not already done so, begin your descent to 2100 feet. At the end of the first minute, we will again do our six T's. Time is the end of the first minute. Turn, turn to a heading of 327, which is in the heading bug. Time, once your wings level, restart the clock. Transition, it's not required. Twist, we will now twist in our inbound course of 192 into the CDI. And talk, not required. At the end of the second minute, we will make a 180 degree turn to track inbound and re-intercept the final approach course. This turn is normally done in the opposite direction of the station. However, if high winds or poor air work have pushed you far enough out, you may need to turn inbound in order to stay within any remain within DME. Once we are established inbound, with established being defined as within five radials or one dot on the CDI, we can now begin our descent down to 1700 feet. At five miles from the final approach fix, we will slow to 120 knots and configure to BAC. Don't forget to do the landing checklist. At the final approach fix, we will again do our six T's. Time. Start the clock for backup timing in the event we lose DME. Turn. Not required. Time. Not required. Transition. We will begin our descent down to the step-down altitude of 700 feet. Twist. This is not required. Talk. Report passing the final approach fix and that your gear is down and locked to the tower. And finally, when we hit 6 DME, the Wunev step down, we can descend to 600 feet and start looking for the runway. 
Do not descend below this MDA until the field is in sight and you are in a safe position to land. If the approach you are flying has a VDP, do not descend until that is reached as well. If you are unable to see the field or not in a safe position to land by the missed approach point, execute your missed approach instructions. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you didn't, or if there's something you found inaccurate or incomplete, please leave a comment. And finally, if there are any topics you would like to see covered, either leave a comment or send me an email at sweetycraft at gmail.com.